Welcome to another video. Today we uh, got you a new CD player for the stereo receiver in your playroom. This is my first CD player from August of 1990, the Pioneer PD5500. Bought it in high school for with some uh, lawn mowing money. It was probably about $200, I know. It's got a lot of features from the time that were kind of what you'd get with a, you know, about a $200 CD This player. is what I like to play over and over again, Money for Nothing. Yeah, you like that song for some reason. Here's the 1991 or 1990 catalog. Can and you see that one looks the same, but it doesn't have any stands on the bottom? Yeah, that was the differentiating feature. You got, uh, you know, a keypad, numeric keypad, and the little honeycomb uh, chassis, and the feet, the feet on the bottom were the differentiators between this model. Why do you call it a honeycomb? Well, the inside has like a honeycomb, but there was a lot of uh, press about three or four months ago when there were some articles about CD being dropped and going the day way of the dinosaur, but I don't think that's, I think CD's death is, is greatly overrated. There are a lot of advantages. It still comes with new cars. It's really high quality sound. It's portable. It's not associated with any service. You know, if I was to buy an album, I'd have it and it'd be in an immediate backup of my They're stuff. probably only selling DVD players because they play video. Well, you know, also any DVD player will also play a CD usually. Anyway, but this CD player, uh, has separate buttons for the manual search, in other words, fast forwarding through the song and track search, as well as a lot of cool, you know, things like a separate pause button. Unfortunately, as time went on, a lot of these features were dropped or combined. Like on this newer CD player, you see you have to hold and, and press to search. Uh, even this uh, fancy uh, Honda car stereo, which had you just the had, Acura. Yeah, same thing. Uh, you know, it has all this touch screen, but it's just got basic, basic uh, fast forward and backward uh, navigation. But what I'm here to talk about today is index marks or indexes. As you'll notice there, you've got uh, track 19 index 01. What is that 01? You know, most CD players don't show the index. Uh, so, and what it is, it's just uh, an, um, like a subtract marker. So, like right here, I'm going to rewind to the end of track 7. You'll notice. When we get to the end of track seven and we start track eight, there's a couple seconds. Watch that, and you'll see it changes from one to zero. See? Yeah, so basically it, it, it's zero during the quiet parts and one during the music on 90% of the CDs I own. So so what good is it? You know, what, what good is the index mark? You know, there's no way, on the, even on this CD player, to uh, control it. I first noticed it at the end of Abbey Road, the Beatles CD, when it goes from the end to Her Majesty. Watch what it does on this CD player. Looks like it's frozen. It looks like it's frozen. It's stuck. It's track 17, index 0, and it's just holding. But actually, you can see if you flip over to time remaining, it's counting down uh, till music till the end of track 17 already. So there's just silence, a bunch of silence. It, and there goes the Her Majesty, the last track. Here's a CD called the Digital Encyclopedia of Sound Effects. It's the only CD I've ever seen that actually uses index marks to locate uh, things on, on, you know, uh, specific things on the CD. Like here you got track one, animals, and then all the different animals are at various index indexes on the track. And so you can see there, there's some sounds. <laughs> track five, index three. Snakes. That, that was pretty rude, wasn't it? Yep. <laughs> I've never seen a CD what player. What is that? It looks like something from the future. That's from the 80s. That That's the uh, a, a CD player I found online, the Sony CDB30, uh, that actually has index buttons. But in, in the 90s when I bought this, if you look here at the catalog, you had to go up to the several models to get actual index selection capability. Even then, it was only on the remote. So what can we do with index marks? You know, my, my CD burning software, Nero Burning CD or whatever, you can have no space between tracks, so I'm not sure the point of index marks in 2018, but you can actually go in here and add a new index and, and, and edit. So I, I did a little playing around with this just to see kind of what we could do with it. Some creative uses for index marks, we, what would you do with it? 
Here's an example. Here's what I would do it. What? So. And then do this. <coughs> well, that, yeah, yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> so anyway. Here, I got like a guy. So let's just burn a test CD with some index marks and see what happens. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a little, it's a little slow. Uh, Prince is a little too uh, speedy to, to keep up with the index marks there. Uh, let's try this one from 1960. Uh, 1960, Connie Stevens, 16 Reasons, who your Uncle Finn was obsessed with because of that uh, weird 2011 movie, Mulholland Drive. But anyway. So, you know, you could use index marks to locate each of the 16 reasons in the song 16 Reasons, I guess. What's interesting about my CD player, apparently... I've tapped into some weird data here because beyond index mark number 10, it sort of goes haywire. And watch what happens when I get up to 10. We go from 9 to A, which is kind of hexadecimal for 10, but... No, then we go to L, that doesn't make any sense. Then we get a, a dash, and then we get a flashing cursor of some sort. So uh, obviously I've, I've sent some data to the player it can't quite understand, there's a P. Uh, but anyway, that's that's kind of the story on index marks. It's kind of like an appendix, you know. Oh, now it's a 10. Yeah, oh hey, there we go. Um, so index marks were kind of an early feature on CD players that Sorry are- Sorry whoever made this, dad said something wrong. Oh, what'd I say wrong? Um, um, like, which is like, why do they show a P and stuff? I don't know, but anyway, that's about it. See you next time for another video. Bye. Bye. Hey, Dad. Yep.